talks by <coughs> Sri Nisargadatta Maharaj. <coughs> In this series, now conscious and the absolute by Sri Nisargadatta Maharaj that January 14th, 1981, what he has given teachings. Let us see. Om Shri Guru Jonam Harihi Om Shri Ganesha Janamaha This is the Maharaj. The ultimate state is that state in which nothing exists, neither I nor you nor manifestation. Questioner. Can Maharaj describe the ultimate state? Maharaj, can I cut up my sleep and make a design of it? Disassociate yourself from your body and tell me something about that. Can you describe it? My talks are not meant for normal human beings. The normal person's field of understanding does not go beyond his own body. The one who identifies with the body is the consciousness itself. It mistakenly assumes that it is the body and behaves as if its unlimited potential has been limited by this one single phenomenon. Therefore, with this identification, whatever behavior the consciousness adopts will be limited by the body. The one who understands this ultimate meaning of life gets disassociated from the body and a transformation takes place. The consciousness is universal, universal like the day, universal like the night, to that principle. See, day is day for everybody, night is night for everybody. The same way consciousness is also consciousness for everybody. So it is universal. To that principle you cannot give a name or a title. Who is the one who knows that there was no day, no night, the consciousness was not there. Day and night, remembering of the and forgetting, the waking state and deep sleep state are they one and are they one and the same thing or are they separate? The capacity of consciousness is something astounding. I didn't know I was and then suddenly I knew I am. This I amness is the power of Maya. Is the desire to be free wrong? Question. Is the desire to be free wrong? Answer by Maharaj. There is nothing happening. Nobody is bound. Hmm. Therefore, there is no question of liberation. It is only when one thinks of himself as an individual that he thinks of bondage and liberation. Whatever concepts you have collected in this world are totally useless. Understand that the total manifestation is the child of a barren woman. But having understood this, give full attention to your work and let that work be done as efficiently as possible. Take good care of this work that you do in the world because it is an, it is an orphan. <laughs> so, take more care. Next, January 17th, 1981. Question. In, uh, in consciousness, is there doership and also witnessing? Maharaj says, everything is in the realm of consciousness. Question. Are all the actions in the world being done through consciousness? The movement of the five elements also? Answer. The sum total of the five elements is consciousness. It is beautiful to praise this consciousness by consciousness. No? Oh, yes. Whatever you are, only you know. In the body is only the knowledge, no person. For practical purposes, you use various names. In the body, why is this consciousness saying, I, you, etc.? Consciousness is one, but it manifests into many. So, for practical purposes, you say, I, you, etc. My consciousness is due to this body, sustained by this body, not other bodies. In your consciousness, all the bodies are there. Right? You can see every bodies, very, very uh -huh, other, uh -huh, different various bodies you can see in your consciousness. Maharaj said that I am not in the body, that the body is in me. If you are an author, a number of books are potentially in your pen. 
since when did you realize that you are when the body and consciousness appear yeah the sum total of my spirituality now is nothing even that word nothing is not there so there is no spirituality left suppose i do not like my body or even the vital breath what can i do the body is there vital breath is there and therefore this i am ness is there they are functioning by themselves why should i worry about it it is having its play let it have it so long as that knowingness i am ness is there that attraction will be there for others the knowingness is the outcome of the food body when this body is consumed where is that i am ness there is no such thing as spirituality whatever it is is only this worldly life in a five elemental play you are nothing better than vegetation just as grass is growing human beings are growing will anybody accept this birth is a material aspect if you are yourself alone that state will not be felt but if there is a foreign element only then the suffering starts on you the original this foreign element is imposed that is why it is suffering you will not enquire into that uh, what you are because you are intellectuals you will prepare delicacies out of your intellect and you will go on eating that even in spirituality you employ your intellect you prepare so many delicacies out of your concepts and you relish them take a hint from what i have said that you experience the world at all is the result result of somebody's fun now it has become the source of misery right is it possible to be in a worldless state in a worldless state can you live without words words are very necessary we are prisoners of our own concepts just enquire into that birth principle you are because you are the father and mother are it is a simultaneous happening because of their action you are and at the same time you have parents without their bodies what are they try to understand what they could be without their bodies ignore that action because of which you are and then try to recognize what the parents are as a result of these two presences there is a third presence i am now will you clear out those concepts of yours about parents january 20th 1981 maharaj says earlier the knowledge used to overwhelm me and i would uh, to invite people to listen to the talks but that time is gone now now i don't encourage people i don't keep people here for very long i give them a dose of knowledge and send them away it's most incredible in the uh, guise of that little so called birth everything has happened not only the i am ness but the whole manifest world has appeared is it believable actually i am not but i feel that i am because of the incident of that birth when you get this knowledge you will realize that knowledge of this world and consciousness are not even worth your spit you can spit it out it will be unworthy i appeal to you with my folded hands don't get into this spirituality <laughs> whatever knowledge and concepts you are having only that final spark is to be applied you have everything the raw material is already with you the symbol of birth and death is already removed the factual state of affairs is open very clear but nobody wants to look at look at it he has a preference for simple devotion to god translator he has preference for simple devotion to god in people with devotion even with limited intellect the intellect is not making mischief as it is there and as it is here mara says this is the place where the intellect gets annihilated i was created and possessed by the five elemental ghost but having stabilized in the parabrahman 
I know that I know what it is and I am out of it. Now, just to see how I am possessed by these elemental essences. I am addicted to chewing tobacco, despite the evidence, uh, advice of doctors not to do it. I am still doing it. That is because I am possessed by the essence of these elements. Space is indicative of the world. In that space, the world is world is. Space is like an incipient world. The world is not there, but the material of the world is there. From there, I start feeling I am. With air, the movement is there. With the fire, the heat. With water, all seeds and everything else. And because of water, the taste is there. But you are dispossessed of these elements because of the Sadhguru. Sadhguru, Parabrahman is all love for no knowingness. Because of your association with this Sadhguru, it means illumination for you. I don't feel like uh, uh, talking at all. I want to go into a sort of silence. My present talks, if they are really understood, require no more discipline, uh, discipline or sadhana. They should click right there and then. At one time, there are a number of saints of the highest order. Why was it? that suddenly there were so many saints at that period. At that time, the devotion was so strong that the very object of meditation would take a complete shape in front of the meditator. Because of that devotional state, the whole atmosphere was imbued with that devotion. Now it is only with the intellect. People are not going to accept anything blindly because their intellect has become more subtle. Like space, they are going to pick and choose to analyze everything. January 24th, 1981. Maharaj says, Listen to what I am saying, but do not expect to benefit in any way by what you hear. Because to benefit, there must be an entity and there is no entity. Since I have had this disease, there has been a slight change in the way I look at things. Earlier, I had felt that there was a slight touch of individuality to the extent that I felt that this universal consciousness was acting through a particular form. Now there is not the slightest touch of any individual form nor functioning. There is no cognition of total functioning as such, but even that will last only so long as the body lasts. In that body there is consciousness and both are material. In all this there is no question of any entity cognizing anything as separate. Indeed or instead there is a total functioning through various millions of forms. I have identified the disease with the total consciousness. Questioner, what remains when consciousness goes? Nothing phenomenal remains. The present talks are the culmination or termination of a spiritual understanding. The more the physical pain is observed, the more it is being realized that everything is illusory. Maharaj has reached the destination. We have not. There was a house and in the house there was a person. Now the person is gone and the house is demolished. The sum total is whatever experience has uh, you have, whether for a day or for years, it is all illusion. The experiences begin with knowingness. What is the most uh, ingrained habit you have? It is to say, I am. This is the root habit. Words and experiences are un unworthy of you. This habit of experiencing will not go until you realize that all this domain of the five elements and the experiences of the five elements are unreal. This I amness is itself unreal. See, very nice talks. Now the last talk of today's, we shall see, January 29th, 1981. You must give up identity with the body. Abidance in that knowledge I am, which does not identify with the body-mind, is the spiritual right, uh, light. Self-love and I am without words are the same. The sickness, sicknesses may come and go, but the self-love does not go. The realization of self does not come. Questioner asks, who says that? Maharaj says, huh? who says that without the knowingness, who could say anything? Knowingness must exist because there is something to be known. You have come here with the idea that you are full of knowledge, full of wisdom. So, that, so what is your idea of knowledge? You are very seasoned, having roamed about in all corners of the world. 
I know that I am not full of knowledge. Why do you tell a lie? The books speak of that ultimate joy and fulfillment which is the result of knowledge. You are not going to meet it because you are it. You are not going to meet it because you are it. Would you go out to meet yourself? No, I am. I come here. Before you knew you were, did you have knowledge or ignorance? In the absence of consciousness, who could say I am? You have all gone into quite true. Every thought, every feeling in consciousness is changing all the time. Questioner says, I cannot be the changing. I am the changeless consciousness which enables thoughts to pass. That is how I understand it. Is it right? How deluded you are, <laughs> Maharaj says. Yeah. What I am trying to do is to stop identification with the thoughts and feelings and not be possessed by them as I use them as pointers to the highest consciousness. Then why do you talk? The pointers of your feelings and your thoughts are yourself and that is consciousness. So consciousness and yourself are one. I want to get away from the pain. The mind is deluding you. He is cheating you. So I am the pain and I should be happy to be the pain. Focus your attention on you are the happiness. Then the pain will then diminish. You assume that you have knowledge. You have developed a pride that you have knowledge. So for itself, uh, for testing itself, yourself, you have come here. I cannot help my pain by repeating that I am happiness. When I speak from this level, his level, I have not got that highest happiness to diminish the pain. That is because you are embracing your body as yourself. Exactly. That is why I am using a trick to escape that. Very good. In the later stages, this consciousness is itself the pain. Until you recognize and completely identify yourself with the knowledge I am, you will identify with the body. That knowledge I am, you do not know her. Some others here <coughs> have no pride that they are knowledgeable. You alone are claiming all the knowledge and pride. Now, how many more days, how many more days are you going to visit this place? Until the seventh, <coughs> he says. You have been answers to your questions. Why should you return? Then these others do not have the knowledge and that's why they can come back. You speak for yourself. Other people may be more knowledgeable than you. <laughs> why do you equate them with you? You have committed to grave offense by equating these people with the level of your wisdom. Take care of yourself. Don't worry about others. How dare you bother about others when you do not fully know yourself? Question. There is some link which binds us together. Maharaj says, never criticize others. Next. January 30th, 1981. AM, that is in the morning. Mm. And again you have PM, that is the afternoon you have. Mm. So, next you have January 31st, that ends in January, next February you will be seeing. So, I think we shall continue this uh, January 30th in the next session. Hare Ram, Hare Krishna, Sadguru Charanath Pitamastu, Sarve Jana Sukhino Bhuntu, Loka Samastha Sukhino Bhuntu, Sajjana Santni Bhaya, Om Tat Sat. Nisarudat Maharaja Saranaravindara Pramastu, Krishna Arpramastu, Om Tatsat.